Now, well, inflation just hit its lowest point in over three years, and that is something that affects every single one of us. But what does it really mean for our wallets and the overall economy? Digital journalist Ivan Herrera spoke with the UTSA economist to break down those numbers and give us a glimpse of what might be ahead for interest rates. You hear of ballooning prices all the time. And those increases can get tiring. But there's some good news when it comes to inflation. In July, the Consumer Price Index showed prices increased by 2.9%. That's the lowest increase since March 2021. Now, in June 2022, just over two years ago, the Consumer Price Index showed prices were up 9%. But what do those numbers mean for us here at home? I think uh, we are still going to see fluctuations, and it may, it will probably be a little while before we get to any sort of a steady state. Economist Tom Tunstall with UTSA's Institute for Economic Development says a little inflation is good, and the Federal Reserve has been working to bring it down to a comfortable level. Ratcheting up interest rates has uh, caused inflation to begin to slow down. The rate of increase is slowing. Inflation is still increasing. Uh, and, and in an ideal world, the Fed actually does want a little bit of inflation, but typically closer to 2%. While the Fed works to keep inflation in check, it's a delicate balance. Factors like an aging workforce could make it harder to maintain this positive trend. Baby boomers retiring, it's possible that we'll see uh, labor shortages uh, down the line, whether it's months or years ahead, uh, which could have an inflationary impact. Tunstall says whoever wins the presidential election in November will need to look at companies with monopolistic power since they can affect consumer prices. Uh, depending on what the next administration turns out to be uh, engaging the uh, Federal Trade Commission and the Department of Justice Antitrust Division to look at industry concentration. Another big question is what will happen to interest rates when the Fed meets in September? The Fed will probably uh, continue to steadily, slowly, steadily, quarter point at a time, probably decrease interest rates, you know, to make sure that uh, they don't inadvertently cause a recession. Right now, all eyes are on the Federal Reserve as we approach their September meeting. Any moves to cut interest rates could mean lower borrowing costs for mortgages, credit cards, and more. Now, we'll be watching closely to see how these decisions impact your wallet in the coming weeks. Back to you.